Hello, my gorgeous, gorgeous Carrot here, Visibility Coach. Guys, today, how important topic, my gorgeous, how to be yourself. This is my favorite by far topic. The science of being you, it is, it is pretty much the art I've always wanted to learn and I am like you on this journey, that's ongoing journey, but where I was and where I am now, massive, massive shift. And, you know, be yourself. I speak to so, ma so many women and especially in UK, they do have the issue that, well, even if they show up, they worry that, that they will come across very like arrogant or they're like big headed. And if they show up too often, even on Facebook Live, that other people start to see them like over the top, like who does she think she is? She is full of herself, always me, 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 always there. And just because of that, just because of the fear of being perceived this way, they decide not to show up as often as they would like, even if they feel like they have this, you know, guys, the energy when you, when you have the message inside you, you want to show up, you want to share it, but, but then you think, well, I better don't do it now because it will be too much for someone else. And if you are one of those boss ladies who actually think like this, this video, this video is for you. This message is for you. Uh, because I personally, I was this person quite a few years ago. I was this person that I remember the times when I would walk into the office and I would literally not even think about how I feel in my clothes and about myself, but instantly thinking from, trying to think from other person's perspective, trying to dig into their heads so what they can potentially think right now about me when I am walking in the office wearing this or that, or maybe what they can potentially see and think about me if I come up and, and say something that maybe I shouldn't say because uh, I will come across as less professional or maybe even silly or whatever. And, um, you know, things like this. And so many guys, so many women worry about this. Let's say you have this high level position at work. Maybe you are this like HR business partner, right? And then you have this kind of nice, uh, cool meeting where you need to just, uh, you know, express your opinions and you don't do it or you don't do it as much as you would like because what stops you is that you worry that the other high level managers that, for example, work with you may judge you as maybe incompetent or silly or whatever you say that you probably shouldn't say because, you know, maybe, maybe at this level of, of the, the work that you are doing, you, you should not say, you know, things like this. So it stops you from saying it at all. This is something that my clients are literally telling me. They, they have the block, the wall from being on that meeting, whether that business meeting as an entrepreneur, uh, with potential, you know, investors or whoever, or at work when you are the woman in business and speak to high level partners and stuff, you literally, you stop yourself. You, you just put this, this kind of plastic face or whatever it is. And you just say whatever is careful, whatever is safe, whatever is within comfort zone, whatever, like you stop, you, 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 you step like, like on tip, uh, on toes. Okay. Just to do everything within the norm, within, within, in the box, in the box. And you see, the problem about this is that when I speak to you, okay, on that Zoom call, you really, you lose something for yourself because you know that if you just allow yourself to be you, if you just allow yourself to just express what you really think and not really worrying how someone else may think about you and whether that's a stupid idea or not, but actually trusting yourself and expressing who you are. If you could only do it, I know that this will give you the level of freedom, liberation and huge amount of self-respect. So when I'm speaking to you on Zoom, I sense it, my dear. I sense it so much that you feel like you are in trap. You feel that you just cannot put across the message just as you want because you stopped worrying about yourself and respect for yourself and you put the worth to, to the keys to your worth 
to other people's pockets, to pockets of those other managers or whoever partners that you have meetings with and you just worry that they will judge you a certain way, that whatever you say will hurt your reputation or brand. But guys, I want you to get this one message. If you keep doing this, if you keep worrying about other people's perception, you lose the ground. You lose the self-perception. You just start only to doubt yourself. It is like closed circle. It is like trap. I can definitely resonate with this. When I was fearing to say whatever I wanted at the business meeting, because I thought that, oh my God, they may think that I look utter rubbish. And then, because I said something uh, which is maybe not perfect or something that maybe I shouldn't say, I, I just like basically worried more about what they say, which is, is has never even happened because until you actually say something, then how can you even know that this is the consequence that, that they may think? The key, the one key solution, if I could give to all of it, is to grasping, to mastering this concept that every single person is, is creating and living in their own reality. I am living in my own reality because what I have gone through my childhood, um, the social conditioning, my environment shaped me here, shaped me completely. And now you are going for completely different reality, different map. What means that what I see is not what you see. The reality I'm living in, which is nothing else than just like perception, is different to your reality. So why do you try so hard to affect someone else's reality when you have never idea what they really can think about you in their head? God, you just never know. And you never, you, you just like, Strip yourself from the opportunity to, to be yourself. And that is the worst thing. So on this business meeting, instead of just going for it, trusting yourself that even if the answer is not perfect, this is at least answer that is aligned with you because this is the, the thing that you think. And even if you say something that some other people may think that, oh my God, what was that? You are fine because even if they thought this, who are they at the end of the day to please them? Ask yourself this question. Who are those people at this business meeting that you have to please so much that you give up on being yourself? You need to start valuing, my dear, valuing yourself more. Who are you and how much are you worth for yourself? How much do you love yourself that you actually don't value yourself? That's the starting point. Versus how much you value someone else's opinion rather than just being you what is more important in life if you were i want you to ask yourself this question if you were to die tomorrow what would you regret most and i tell you that you would regret most the fact that you put keys to your worth in someone else's pocket you decided that your worth and how you feel about yourself and your thoughts is completely controlled by someone else's perception, which you don't even necessarily know what their perception is. Because that's everything, it's just like our crazy reality and, and things in our head. So this video, guys, this video is to give you courage to express yourself. Self-expression is one of the top key values I live my life by. If I cannot express myself, what is the point of living my life? What kind of life is it? What kind of life is it if you cannot fully express who you are and your thoughts? If you are thinking those thoughts and you are afraid that they will not be accepted by someone on that business meeting, then you are literally stepping out of you. What is worse in your lifetime than sabotaging yourself? Please ask yourself this question. And self-love is always the best defense. Self-love is the, the best defense that can exist. So even if you fuck up in your own eyes, even if you say something you don't want on that meeting, or maybe you didn't think through, there's one gun that, that shoot them all and help you just save 
uh, yourself and break free. Self-love. Guys, lots of love. Lots of love. And just so you know that if you really struggle with owning who you are, with actually, you know, being that confident leader on, the, on that meeting and feel that you lock yourself so much here and at heart. You just lock yourself. You cannot just be that leader you want. You don't think like one because you, you know, hold yourself back. You also don't express yourself, whether that's even in the way how you would like to look, even things like that. I can help you. Take it to the next level. I can help you heal that part and express yourself the best you can. Visible from the inside, in your eyes and out. Guys, that's the ultimate thing that we always seek. Just to be the best expression of who we are. So please let me know if you would like to help yourself with that. And lots of love and bye for now. Gosha Scarlet for you. Bye.